Dear Caroline, Baby, I'm so sorry about everything. I just do stupid things sometimes. But I never meant to hurt you. Okay. Good start. This one's gonna be better, I can tell. Last one, she wadded up and chucked right back in my face. But that was cool. Still together, right? Right. Okay. Dear Mark, I'm so sorry I have to tell you this. Why do you, why do I feel so sorry? This has to be done. I promised myself I wouldn't let this happen. Okay. I'm so sorry to have to tell you this, but I must. We just cannot be together anymore. Well, can't get any more straightforward than that. What now? You're in my world. Life is meaningless to me without you. I know we can make it through. I promise. Are we going to make it? Sure, come on. If I can get her to forgive me for screwing some other chick, I can get her to forgive me for anything. We'll be okay. It's like we always are. You have just hurt me too much, and seemingly without care, and sometimes feels like I'm meaningless to you. This just won't work any longer. It won't. It just won't. I just, I can't forgive him anymore. I've done it too much, and I haven't done a damn thing to deserve any of this. Any of this. I mean it this time. Jeez, that's good. Pretty sure I mean it more this time than I did the last time. I mean, last time I was drunk, so it shouldn't even count, right? I mean it now. I mean it now. I mean... I think Caroline means at least that much to me. Come on. She's my world. I mean it this time. That's good. He just, he has to know what he's done to me. And even if he doesn't understand, it doesn't matter. It is what it is. I can't count how many times he's told me that he meant something. And all that's led to is this. Me finding him fooling around with another girl in the same bed that we did it in. My God. Like, why does he even bother? If he tells me I'm his everything and then turns around and acts like this? Okay, calm down. You're doing this. You're doing this. It's almost over. I want us to be like we were in the beginning. When everything was so special. I still look at you the same way I did then. The way I did then. Come on. Think, damn it. What did she look like back then? I wish I could remember. Forget it. Doesn't matter. It's good though. Taking her back to how things were in the beginning. Make her think about the good times. It's a damn sight better back then. And it has to be, otherwise, why did we start going out to begin with? I wish that we could go back to the beginning when things felt so different. I wish you'd look at me like you did then. Yeah, like you used to, before you obviously got so bored of me. Excuse me, Mark. Just, maybe I was never perfect enough for you. Maybe I didn't fuck every time you wanted to. But at least I cared for you. You could have at least done the same for me. Even if it meant breaking up with me because you wanted something different. Jeez, I mean, he probably doesn't even remember what I look like. There's too many other girls in his head. Your brown eyes sparkling in the night. Okay, wait. I don't even remember if her eyes are brown or green. They're one or the other, I know that. Probably brown. And they're kind of dark. They're not blue. I'll totally screw me over. Should I keep this? Uh, I just don't know. Uh, it's so good. But. 
Okay, I'll go with it. Except the first night we, first time we went out was at night. And I just screwed up again. Tell me how beautiful my blue eyes were that day. God, I don't know why I'm acting like there's still hope in all of this. I mean, he probably doesn't even remember what color my eyes are either. Probably thinks they're brown or something stupid like that. The way we whispered sweet nothings into each other's ears. Awesome. Sweet nothings. Sweet. I'll discover the fact that I don't remember a thing we said when we went out. I want to say the state fair was in there somewhere. Didn't we start going out in December? The state fair was in the summer. It's how difference does it make? So, alright, so we've got brown eyes. We've got sweet nothings. What else? I only wish you would have just talked to me more. Or talked to me at all. I mean, we never talked about anything. We never reminisced. We never talked about the first time that we went out back in September. It was so different. It was going to be like that forever. I knew it. I mean, I've been with other guys before, but it never felt like this. Or that, I guess. And then there was how tightly we held each other's hand. It was incredible. Do it. Good. Just being safe. I mean, one thing I'm sure was that we held hands. A lot. Maybe we held them tightly, maybe we held them loosely. The hell does it matter? We held hands. She probably doesn't remember how tightly we held hands the first date anyway. Or held my hand more tightly when we walked together. Hold them more tightly. <laughs> I can't even remember the last time we just walked around holding hands at all. I mean, I know it's there, but I just... The only thing that I can remember is how many times he's tried to get me out of my clothes. Such a freaking jerk. Just... I guess one just outweighs the other. just can't believe I wasted so much time. I know I've been a total jerk and an idiot, but just believe me when I tell you the last thing in the world I ever wanted to do was hurt you. You're the only one for me. You know that. She knows it. Sure she does. She knows I never hurt her. I cheated. Okay, I admit it. But it's not like it means I don't love her anymore. I mean, I'm not going to throw her away. I mean, what can I say? I'm just an idiot. I mean, she'll understand that. She always has before. But that just never happened because you've chosen to behave like a jerk. Like your one consuming goal in this world has been to bring hurt to me. And I deserve someone better than you. You know that. You know that, Mork. Like, you're such an asshole. Like, why did you treat me this way? Like, what made you just go off with another girl and act like it was nothing important? It was pretty damn important to me. It's just, I, I want, do you even love me anymore? Like, wait, what am I saying? He probably never loved me to begin with. And I was just there for him to take. And now he's just throwing me away. I just don't understand anything anymore. You're the air that I breathe. You're the reason why I wake up in the morning. You're the anything to my everything. You're all I've got in this crazy world. Mm. Not the most original stuff I've ever written, but good enough, I guess. She is all I've got in the world. Can't think of any other girl I'd rather be with. I mean, really I'd rather be with. She's my girl. The air that I breathe and the reason I wake up in the morning and all that crap. Maybe you were once the reason why I woke up in the morning, but that's all gone now. I promised myself I would never become one of those girls who allows her boyfriend to dictate the rest of her life. And that's all I see you doing to me here. <laughs> Take that, you son of a bitch. This is great. 
She'll be sitting out there right now, sulking around or writing the other sappy letter full of lies about how I'm all that he has in the world. Well, he's going to be living in a pretty lonely world for a while because I'm not going to be a part of it. No more. Without you, I become nothing. I don't exist. Okay. A little emo, but what does she expect? I'm like supposed to be on the end of my roof, so a little desperation makes sense, right? She's my girl, I'm her guy, blah blah blah, my existence ends when she's gone, she ends when I'm gone. It's all the same. So please, don't waste my time and emotions telling me how you're nothing without me, because the truth is, I feel like I'm nothing when I'm with you. Good. Great, Caroline, just stick it to him, just like he's done to you. I'm feeling so much better now. It's like I'm liberated. Wow. I just hope he's not feeling too emo when he reads this. But why like should I care? Well, maybe that's not right. That's how incredible you are. And I know that somebody who is that wonderful can certainly find it in her amazing heart to forgive an undeserving fool like me. Because I love her so much. Forever yours, Mark. I just hope that someday when this all passes, we can maybe be friends again. Caroline. Okay, I'm done. I guess it's okay to end it on a light note. I mean, maybe there is hope for the future. I mean, if he finally grows the hell up. I don't know. Okay, envelope. Be okay. I have to do go to this door, slide this under, and that'll be that. Masterpiece. Man, can I talk to girls? Since never aggressive. Alright, now I just need to get this to Carol. Uh, on this envelope, maybe something pink and girly. I hope those pink envelopes go. Screw it, let's use a white one. Where did the. Do uh, they even have any envelopes? How would I? Alright, let's just stuff this in here. Get this to Caroline, everything will be fine. Caroline.